Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is an educational course uh, uh, that uh, you get when uh, you become a client at Bookmap. Uh, I would... Um, uh, highly recommend uh, watching uh, the educational course and then uh, when uh, well what comes along with the education uh, is access to the advanced order flow webinars okay so this is not the advanced order flow webinar this is the platform details webinar uh, at 10 30 at 11 Eastern uh, in another uh, you know 28 minutes is the advanced order flow webinar Okay, so the difference and distinction between the two uh, are that um, uh, we're going to go over uh, in general what Bookmap is showing you here and uh, uh, how to use it uh, and some of the resources. Okay, so uh, answer any of your questions, uh, but um, uh, start uh, with some of the basic building blocks. Uh, and then uh, what we do in the advanced order flow webinar is we really dig into the, the order flow. OK, so understanding the phenomena in uh, in the markets, uh, in the live markets uh, and um, uh, starting to analyze it and anticipate future price movement based on what we see uh, in the order book and in the uh, transactions. OK, so the advanced order flow webinars in the live market support the content that is in the educational course. Okay, so hopefully that uh, will help you ramp up uh, your understanding of order flow uh, and how Bookmap can help you uh, read it uh, um, uh, very precisely and clearly. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at that website. Here it is. Uh, you can see the new uh, uh, Bookmap 7.0 here. Uh, we also offer digital currencies now. So let's scroll down here a little bit, and uh, there's an intro video. Uh, just going over the basics, uh, information about Bookmap here, uh, and then uh, further further down here, uh, there's a Nasdaq Total View. So Bookmap now connects to cryptocurrencies, uh, the stock market. So for uh, all U.S. equities, okay, that's all we're offering right now uh, through this Nasdaq Total View, uh, and then uh, futures markets. Okay, so uh, this is uh, important to know. Uh, Bookmap is a software uh, visualization trading platform. Okay, we're not a data provider. You will need to provide data to connect to the live markets. So you can see there's some other uh, trading platforms up here as well, like Ninja Trader, uh, the Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation, or TTX Trader Pro. Okay, we are a platform just like these guys. Uh, and um, However, we connect to the API of these uh, three platforms here. So that's a, a possibility. Uh, if you want to do that, uh, you can. You can get your, uh, your data into Ninja, for example, and then it would also then output to Bookmap when you connect via the API to Ninja. Uh, however, we recommend uh, just uh, using it like a platform and connecting directly to your data feed uh, and this is what we support. CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, Dev Experts, which was, is for the uh, connection uh, to um, uh, GDAX as well as uh, uh, NASDAQ, okay, that NASDAQ total view. Now, the GDAX is for the cryptocurrencies, okay, and actually you will get that for free uh, when you uh, become a client. Um, all right, oh, let's go over the pricing tab, uh, tab here. Okay, so this is where you can find Bookmap if you uh, uh, are interested. There's monthly, and you can click on yearly here, and you get a discount of 20%. Uh, there is a free version here, okay, no credit card. Uh, all you receive, though, is you will you will get Bookmap total uh, version, working version. Uh, it will be for one cryptocurrency, okay? It's live. Uh, and um, you, you get, uh, you know, all the features except the, uh, in, you know, the more advanced uh, uh, indicator package features. Uh, Real-time um, uh, order flow vis visualization. Uh, you can use the simulation mode uh, to, to use the one-click trading if you like. Um, and uh, you only get basic education and you only get limited support. Okay, that's the free version. Uh, Digital Plus. Okay, what you're getting with this is it's all digital currencies. It's $37 per month. 
and you receive, um, you, well, you can record and replay your data, which is a big uh, uh, benefit uh, for debriefing and, uh, you know, improving your execution, execution skills. Uh, and uh, you also get uh, 20 instruments, okay, not just one. Uh, you also get access to the advanced education, which I mentioned earlier, the course as well as the live market uh, webinars. The global, uh, this is $49 per month, and uh, what you get is everything in digital, plus it supports futures and the U.S. equities here, okay? So uh, that's um, uh, the, the futures here. You will need to provide your data as well as the uh, uh, U.S. equities, okay? Now, a global plus, what you receive is everything in global, uh, but you also receive uh, our uh, indicator package, okay? So you can trade right from the bookmap chart. Uh, which is a great benefit because you can see the liquidity map in front of you. So you can front run high liquidity uh, if you want to look for a higher probability entry. You can also um, uh, hide your stops behind high liquidity uh, for a higher probability of not getting uh, stopped out. Uh, and then you can see these other add-on indicators here. Uh, not only are we, these are proprietary indicators we created. It's not your standard RSI or stochastics or MACD. Um, you know, we're looking at uh, order flow. And uh, not only can we um, start to visualize uh, and identify uh, specific phenomena, uh, we can also start to identify the players. Okay, and we'll see some of that today uh, in this webinar. Um, so, uh, for example, a larger player uh, holding the majority of liquidity at one specific price level. Uh, some imbalance indicators. Uh, iceberg detector, again, larger player uh, that is uh, using hidden orders and doesn't want to show his liquidity in the book. Uh, and then uh, correlation tracker. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, we're getting very specific here now. Uh, we're not only identifying liquidity, we're, we're identifying the players. Okay. Now, if you're new to futures, uh, you need data, uh, you can click here, uh, and um, uh, that will uh, take you right uh, to uh, uh, a page here where you can, um, uh, there's some free demos uh, of data. So so you can hook up a book map uh, for a couple weeks and, uh, and try out maybe the global if you want to do that, okay? So you will need to pay uh, $49 per month for that global. Uh, but uh, you'll get your data for, for a couple weeks. Uh, have any more questions? There's a whole FAQ section here. Okay, this is a new link. Uh, it will bring you to the uh, uh, FAQs here uh, and search for uh, uh, anything. This is for that free version, so, uh, you know, or, or any version, really. I mean, this is actually the first stopping point if you have any questions. Uh, and um, the um, uh, if you want to uh, complete list of all of the, uh, features and want to decide here, uh, you can take a look at this uh, link here. It leads to this page, and you see what you get here. Okay. Okay, Jill. Uh, welcome, Jill. Uh, it's a pleasure talking to you on Friday. Uh, let's see if you also want the digital currencies. I assume you um, need to open a GDAX account. No, it you you'll uh, you should have access to it right now, Jill. Uh, so, um, uh, in fact, uh, let's uh, let's go through it and let's. Uh, uh, I'll go through it in just a minute here. Let me just finish up uh, with, um, uh, you can follow us here on Twitter, on our social media, uh, and um, uh, at bookmap underscore pro, and uh, you'll see that uh, all the different things that you're going to receive here, uh, up, up to date information. Uh, and then you can subscribe to our YouTube page. Okay. So just briefly, our YouTube page, intro videos playlist here, if you want to click on the headline. Uh, just to get a feel for what bookmap is. Uh, features and components, click here, uh, and um, you'll uh, go over uh, all the different uh, uh, features in bookmap. Uh, and then these order flow video snippets, okay? I would recommend these, uh, understand the concepts in these because this is where bookmap is gonna help you, okay? Uh, understand the order flow, uh, what you're looking at and how to read it uh, using bookmap. And the transparency that bookmap offers you, that's the advantage here. All right. Okay. So let's uh, let's jump in here and take a look uh, at Bookmap, and um, uh, we'll start uh, with uh, Jill uh, answer your question. So um, here you can take a look right away here at um, at book at um, Bitcoin, for example. 
okay? Uh, and um, uh, how do you access it? Okay, so let's go up here to connections, okay? And the, for those of you who are new here, uh, I wanna cover this because um, uh, this is a great feature in Bookmap now. You can see that uh, as a platform, we've really um, progressed here uh, and have matured into pretty, pretty uh, 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 versatile uh, and powerful platform. Uh, I'm connected now to the GDAX exchange, Rhythmic uh, data for my futures, and then I'm also connected to the DX feed for US equities. Okay, all at the same time here. Um, I, I can also connect to the Cedro uh, Crystal for the um, uh, uh, Brazilian market. Okay, so if uh, you wanna connect to that, we also offer that. Uh, and, um, and this will continue to grow. Uh, you know, we'll probably offer some other connections to um, the uh, uh, digital currencies, et cetera, okay? Or maybe other, other stock markets, uh, international stock markets. All right, so this is this is how you can configure one. Uh, just come up here, uh, add a new connection, okay? I mean, uh, Jill, you should see it here uh, for your GDAX, okay? So just click on that. And uh, if you see GDAX there, and what you need to input for your GDAX uh, is your uh, your book map uh, information uh, or login? Okay, that's uh, that's how you'll get your your GDAX. Okay, so for bookmap.com, uh, you'll use your um, uh, uh, credentials for bookmap.com here for GDAX. Okay, it should connect automatically. Okay, you should already see it. Uh, and um, uh, if you do, the next thing to do is then click on the plus tab. Okay. So you can see I have all sorts of symbols here. So the plus tab is way over here on the right hand side. Uh, also, there's a drop down here. So, if you you know, if you want quick access to all your symbols, so you don't have to always scroll like this to go back and forth. Um, you can just click here and uh, uh, very quickly get your uh, the symbol you want to uh, uh, access. So let's click on plus sign. Okay. And uh, what pops up here, choose your platform or your, your connection, which will be GDAX in this case, and then uh, choose your symbol, okay? And uh, I can go over this too if you guys want, uh, since this is the platform details webinar. Um, you can choose the amount of historical data you want it to load here, okay, from the dropdown. You can get up to 48 hours of historical data, which is fantastic. Uh, I have three hours uh, from my local time. And uh, this is kind of, um, uh, you know, I'm not going to go over this actually. Uh, I'll, I'll allude to the, um, it's covered in the uh, uh, book map uh, uh, 7.0, but you can control the tick size and the granularity in the in the digital currencies, which is fantastic. I mean, this is, you know, this is fantastic. You don't, you're not, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, like uh, uh, committed or, uh, you know, forced to look at uh, uh, every single cent. You can if you want. You can look at five dollars a tick, uh, and uh, you can look at a hundred dollars a tick uh, in um, in your Bitcoin. Okay, so that on your price ladder, it'll, from one tick to the next, it's going to be five dollars for me. Okay, and then I can look at the granularity here. So, for example, uh, if I want to see, um, you know, one coin, well, then I'll just choose one, uh, and that'll be it. Okay, but I want to look at uh, maybe some. Um, uh, you know, hundreds of, of coins okay, that make up uh, more liquidity and, uh, and it'll show up here. All right. So if I zoom in uh, in Bitcoin here and let's zoom vertically, here you go. Okay. See, notice how each tick, let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Each tick here. Okay. Now this is, this is the way I have it configured for, for, uh, 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 this uh, uh, for Bitcoin, I actually have it for each dollar. Okay, that's the way I, I, I set it up earlier, not for five dollars. Okay, and then I also chose here, as you can see, uh, thousands uh, for liquidity. Okay, that's why it goes three decimal points. Okay, so I'm going to see a little more vol, well, quite a bit more volatility. Uh, if you want to uh, kind of uh, 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 maybe smooth smooth this out a little bit. Uh, and not see so much volatility if you're not really like hyper scalping, uh, then choose $10 a tick or something like that. Okay. And, you, and your view is going to look, you know, probably something like this, you know, a little, little bit uh, 
a little more uh, smooth, you'll see areas of higher liquidity instead of all the details. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Let's jump into the um, NASDAQ futures here uh, and take a look at the markets. Uh, and uh, we've got some new traders in here that are filtering in, as they can see. So I want to uh, uh, welcome you guys uh, to the room here uh, and, um, uh, you know, answer uh, any of your questions that you have regarding the uh, the platform. Okay. There's all sorts of new features here in this bookmap 7.0. Uh, and I'm actually going to strip away uh, most of them right now uh, just so I can demo the basics of what you're looking at in Bookmap so you guys uh, understand that first. Uh, and that uh, that is important. Okay. So um, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's just cover this uh, to begin with. Looking at your chart here in Bookmap, okay, it looks like a pretty, uh, pretty wild chart, like uh, all sorts of data here. Uh, and uh, what's the significance of it all? Uh, it looks uh, maybe a bit overwhelming uh, for a lot of traders who are used to uh, looking at candlesticks and a couple indicators. Okay, this is actually very simple and straightforward data. Okay, there's really only three uh, elements on this chart. One is the historical best bid and offer. Okay, uh, and we'll just uh, we can show that right here. Okay, uh, let me take off the heat map and the volume dots. Okay, this is it, historical best bid and offer. Okay, uh, and uh, I'll get into why this is uh, uh, so helpful uh, to begin with, uh, because it's not aggregated. Okay, so a candlestick chart is going to aggregate that. Okay, the second element on this bookmap chart uh, is the uh, the volume. Okay, that traded on that historical best bid and offer. That's it. Okay, we're just looking at volume, best bid and offer. And that third element is the heat map. Okay, now the heat map is what's showing outside of that of the transactions. Okay, it's showing you uh, where they're lining up to bid and offer. Right, so we're starting to we're starting to read the liquidity now. Where where is the market being made? That's all derived from the dome. Okay, so uh, let's take a, a look at a candlestick chart and compare it. All right, and. Uh, uh, understand what we're looking at here. So the candlestick chart here uh, is, um, uh, you know, it's an aggregated period. Okay. To simplify the data here, uh, they aggregate it. Okay. We're all accustomed to looking at aggregation, to be honest. Uh, uh, this is what we're, um, uh, the way we have uh, looked at data for years, decades, however long you're trading is probably the case. Uh, and, um, the problem with this aggregated view is it's uh, very, very opaque. There's all sorts of details and microstructure that you're missing, and uh, you're not getting that uh, that insight. Like this candlestick here between this candle and this candle in this five-minute period, there's all sorts of information that we want to understand that gives insight to future price movement. Okay, and uh, it's just open, high, low, and close of that period. Okay, so for example, let's just zoom in here uh, and take a look. There's microstructures in here, okay, and that comes from that historical best bid and offer. Okay, and we want to understand those microstructures because look at the breakouts here, okay, and why this continued to break out. Okay, we can put it all together here, uh, whereas a candlestick chart, you really, you just, you just don't know. You don't see any of it. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's hiding that information. So look at, look at the cluster uh, of volume up into this area here, which broke out from this structural area here. Okay. We don't see any of that in the candlestick chart. All right. And then there's another microstructure. Look how we kind of nibbled away at the top edge here. And then we see another catastrophic break to the upside. Here's another structure. Okay, we broke that one as well, and we get, look at these little pullbacks, okay, to where it broke from. Here, here, and here. This is very, very indicative of a trending market to the upside. Okay, you'll, you'll get the breakout. Uh, it usually happens very quickly. You get a sweep of the order book, okay, uh, to higher levels. Uh, and then uh, you'll see more volume trading at these higher highs. Let's zoom in a little bit. 
and let me get rid of the um, rectangles okay and let me bring up the dot size a little bit okay very indicative of a trend here uh, and it's trending uh, rather strong strongly here uh, you, you can see uh, look at the volume here uh, in this area green dots lots of green dots right well what is a green dot let's zoom in here and take a look Okay. And we'll, we'll, I can cover in, uh, in detail here what we're really looking at in Bookmap. Okay. Uh, right here. Okay. Here's your historical best bid. Here's your uh, historical, um, I'm sorry, best offer is the red line. Best bid is the green line. Uh, the uh, green dot here, that's a market buy. Okay. It transacted on the best offer and it took liquidity off of the best offer. That's why we consider it aggressive volume. Okay, it's the aggressor classification of it. Uh, someone just, uh, they, they crossed the spread, they paid up, they actually uh, paid a couple ticks here to do that. Uh, and um, uh, took liquidity off of the best offer. They did not provide liquidity. Okay, in the limit order book, they're providing liquidity. They're waiting at specific price levels. Okay, and there's high liquidity up above here, right above, as you can see here. Right, in that heat map. I'll get into the heat map in just a second. But these are just two elements here that we're displaying. It's to Horacle, best bid and offer, and the volume that transacted. Okay. Now, we can zoom into these areas and we can check out every single detail here. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, this was actually, um, I can see here, volume is one in my uh, volume uh, column over here. So this is one lot that traded. Okay, someone hit the market buy button for one lot. That's it. As I zoom out though, note that I start to, or bookmap starts to consolidate all of this data, okay, just, just graphically, okay, just visually, and into a bigger dot. Okay, and we can see exactly what it is here by hovering over, we're using the data tip tool here. Okay, so for example, this is for 49, this dot, but it's not just one trade for 49. Okay, we zoom in and you can see We've just broken it into these clusters of activity here, okay? This is exactly how these markets trade today, okay? Uh, these uh, uh, algorithmic clusters, uh, you can start to see this algorithmic activity. You start to see the mechanical spacing between them, et cetera. Uh, you know, it's all here. Uh, it's all right in front of you. Uh, now, we don't trade at microsecond level if you look on the timeline. Okay, so that doesn't really help us. Uh, it, it does if you're, uh, um, you know, trading automated uh, strategies. Uh, so you can see exactly how your algo is behaving. Uh, and that's actually why Bookmap was developed in the first place. We came from that environment. Okay, developing algos, seeing and visualizing how they're performing. Uh, but just realize that uh, actually this is really helpful for any traders. Okay, and note how as I zoom out, We've consolidated all of that just graphically into a bigger dot. And we, we know it was for 49 uh, contracts. We get the date, the time, the spread, and the volume. Um, and, um, and there it is, all right? So those are the two elements. Okay, now that third element is that heat map. Okay, and what's the heat map uh, uh, showing me? Okay, and then I'll get back into the uh, going over this concept of uh, more volume trading at higher highs here uh, and very indicative of this trending market, okay? Uh, just a few uh, a few details in the order flow so that you guys understand that concept. It's, it's really uh, important. Uh, all right, let's just cover the heat map and then I'll get into that. And we can just take the candlestick chart off now. I mean, we, just, we can see so much more what's really inside this five minute period uh, as opposed to uh, uh, here it is right here. Here's our last candlestick, and here's this candlestick. There's just so much more information here. Uh, so we've really broken it, broken into it, uh, and uh, and understand really what what occurred here. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I'll get to a few questions in just a moment here. I see you guys' questions, uh, but I want to cover the heat map. Okay. Uh, the heat map is derived from the dome, and this is. Uh, Everything to the left of this vertical white line here is historical. Everything to the right is current market, okay, except for these volume columns. Um, so this is your, your current market right here, this window. 
Here's your best bid and offer, and this number is your last traded volume. Okay, and then over here is your price ladder, and then here is your depth of market. Okay, best bid and offer here, and then all of these numbers here uh, on the offer, well, that's it's liquidity. Okay, uh, it's where traders are lining up and providing liquidity at these specific price levels. All right, that's on the offer, and here it is on the bid. Now, areas of high liquidity, when these numbers become uh, pretty high, well, what we do is we take that data and we paint it uh, in the uh, uh, this window here. Okay, so high liquidity is painted in the heat map. Here's our scale of the heat map. So if it's dark, there's it's low liquidity. If it's blue, it's higher. Uh, white, higher. Uh, yellow, higher yet. And then the highest is the orange. Okay. And uh, uh, so we take that data, we paint it uh, here in this window. But the, the brilliance of it is we record it and project it onto the chart historically. So now we can see where they're bidding and offering. You can start to utilize your dome not only for you know small movements, uh, but on much higher time frames, much higher. Okay, you can zoom out and you can start to see all sorts of things. Uh, and um, uh, for example, uh, let's look at this just this data that we just saw here. Okay, we're going to start to note. Okay, let's zoom in here. Um, uh, look how uh, we see high liquidity, and look how it it kind of popped down here and became high liquidity. Okay. Now we're starting to identify specific players. Okay. That would be very hard to read in the dome over here. Okay. You just see the numbers flash back and forth very quickly, but we've got it here. This is one player who, okay. I mean, there's, there's multiple players at these levels. Okay. This isn't the, the clearest example, but you'll get the point. Uh, high liquidity here. And then look at this moment right here in time. Okay. It got, it, there was less liquidity. So it looked like uh, one of these players here pulled liquidity and added lower, okay? And then he pulled liquidity again here and added lower at the same moment. So we're identifying specific players, okay? And we can start to understand larger players like the, these, uh, these guys here uh, and how they're behaving and their intent to trade. And that is the key, okay? Do they want to trade or not? Uh, or do they want to spoof and try to, uh, uh, you know, do do something that's a, a, some sort of disruptive practice uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, prohibited? Uh, it's not uh, it's not legal uh, practice, uh, but uh, uh, we can start to identify all of that behavior. Here's that behavior on the higher time frame. Okay, so look 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 here now how it's muted compared to some of the other high liquidity areas. But look how price came up here and started to show interest and started to maybe skew the book a bit, okay? Uh, now, oops, if I, yeah, here we go. So now we, I've got it again here, and we can see um, that uh, on the higher time frame, how this guy's behaving. Ah, keep going lower, so I can't, uh, it skews the map there. Um, and, um, uh, we can we can start to read read their behavior at these areas. We even got a double top test of these area of this area here. Okay. This guy didn't show up again though second time. Okay. Maybe he showed up over here. Kind of looked like his uh, uh, his uh, process. Okay. It, right right over here as price starts to go away, he starts to become more aggressive. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll quickly get to your, your questions. We got to go. We, we got to go to the next webinar. Um, but the um, uh, how we're able to utilize this on the higher time frame uh, in that trending environment and understanding it is over here. OK, more volume lifting the offer up into these higher areas of liquidity. The guys are staying in the book and getting filled, especially up here, it looks like. Uh, and we're noting larger, longer term liquidity stays in the book and making a distinction between that and that other kind of spoofing type of activity or low, high liquidity, but it's in, only in the book for a very short term. OK, areas down here, you're going to start to pinpoint uh, where they're selling. But look, look at the selling compared to the buying. OK, so this is your skew. I mean, this is why we're trending up. Uh, and uh, it's kind of exhausting out at some of these areas. It's not really finding sellers. 
It's rotating back up, finding more buyers and more buyers yet as it pulls the market upwards. And that's how you get your trending environment. Um, let's see, Frank, uh, let's see, what keys do I use to zoom in? Okay, um, yeah, I never use the plus minus only to demo, to be honest. Um, what I use is just my center mouse wheel, okay? You can zoom extremely quickly, right? You can use it in tandem with the move tool here. So I can move and zoom, zoom out, move, uh, et cetera, okay? If I click on the move tool, uh, you know, and not have it selected, I go back to the current market. Uh, Jill, let's see, you need help with your settings or something? Um, okay, yeah, uh, we'll play around with the heat map uh, up here or click on this um, icon and um, uh, you can play around with some of the sliders here uh, in the heat map and uh, you know, it will uh, it'll look, you know, uh, different like that. Um, okay. Uh, all right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. If you're signed up for the next uh, 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 webinar, I'm late, <laughs> so we'll see you in there. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye.